Hello, it's October and it's a, it's a beautiful morning and I'm off to the Pennington Marshes with a friend. Uh, Pennington Marshes is near Lymington in Hampshire and uh, it's a, a nice coastal area with some good views. There's the uh, old salt pans that made Lymington quite wealthy in the, uh, in the 18th century but they're now uh, really good for wildlife and and uh, lots of wildfowl go down there. Now you can see the Isle of Wight in the distance and uh, you can see Hurst Castle uh, and you can see the needles. Now we probably will be painting into the light which gets gives a, a really interesting effect. Um, at the moment the sky is, uh, is very clear um, but I can see some cloud building up and it's really much nicer to have uh, some clouds rather than a completely um, blue sky. Now these open areas, um, I really do love them. And anyway, I'm going to set up the uh, uh, easel and uh, do it quickly. I always like to lay my paints out in the same order. Um, even if sometimes some of those colours I don't end up using them. Um, but it, these things are a habit really. Now I've got a very dark uh, canvas. I, 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 I put my canvas onto a thin uh, MDF board uh, so I can cut them to whatever size I like and I can, um, I can give a, a, an under painting. Uh, I haven't really painted on such a, a colour as this but uh, um, it is always important to, to have some sort of colour rather than start on a uh, a white canvas but it, it's it's a fairly simple scene I quite it's a, a bit more relaxing you've not got lots of detail to push to put in but you can see I haven't done the foreground at all yet now you can see that clouds building up a little bit it's going to start to look quite interesting soon this is where the naked eye um, can actually pick out uh, the colors and the shapes much much better than a photograph or anything like that. Now we usually prefer to stand up when we're painting but there's quite a strong wind today um, and if you can keep low um, the, there is a bit of protection from these uh, uh, bramble bushes. There are quite a lot of uh, blackberries about and we've eaten quite a few of them. Now this is probably all I'm going to do today. Um, uh, I'm going to let it dry and uh, I'll um, I look at it again in the studio. But you can see that is a painter's sky. Those lovely clouds have just come up. They're just right um, and I've tried to capture them as best I can. Now we've had a lovely morning's painting. It really is a pleasure to be out in such a lovely landscape. We're very lucky to live quite close to these places. Now, it's back in the studio. It's nearly two weeks later. Painting is completely dried. And I'm, I've put a little yacht in here and I'm just going to put another one a little bit closer. both uh, bending over into the wind close hauled well that's what I think they are anyway the tiny tiny touch and I don't think I'll do any more to this than that I was thinking of putting some birds in I did think possibly, I can always take them out again but I did think of uh, a few seagulls I don't think I'll do much more than that. Maybe just, I don't want to take too much out of the picture. Maybe just a little bit, bit up here. Oh, I think that should be enough. Now it's rather a, a chunky frame, 
but when you do put a frame around something um, this is just a frame that I had lying around um, the painting just starts to look a little bit more interesting with the frame anyway that's all for today and uh, I hope you uh, enjoyed this uh, little exercise if you did please click a like and maybe subscribe goodbye